Today, waiting in Alder Hayes A&E with his mum is 10-year-old Casper with a troubled tibia. I broke my leg about a year ago, but recently it's just got really sore. This morning it got worse and I ended up here. Looks like that leg's in limbo. How did it happen? One year ago, it was a beautiful sunny day. Beautiful. Birds were tweeting. Tweet, tweet. Flowers were... Sm Dancing. Uh, yes, OK. And Casper was playing in the garden with his friend Magna. Ooh, what were they playing? They were running around blasting foam darts. Pow, pow, pow! Sounds like fun. It was, until Casper tripped over a tree root and broke his leg. Ouch! A year later, and that leg is still causing problems. And now it's started spraying out yellow stuff and now white chunks of gravelly stuff. That's no laughing matter, Casper. Best get that grim limb in to see Dr Ashok Lal Ramavan. So we need to examine the wound and see how it is. It looks horrendous. That's right, Mum. Gross alert coming up. When Casper first broke his leg, he had an operation. And doctors discovered he had a tumour which they removed. Can you wiggle your toes for me? To strengthen his leg bone, they inserted a metal plate. What, like this? Yep, that's the one. And Casper was also given a bone graft. A bone graft is a surgical procedure when bones need repairing or rebuilding. A very special material, a bit like moulding clay, is put into the bone. It holds the bone in place like scaffolding and encourages new bone cells to grow. Sometimes, like in Casper's case, the material can leak. It's nothing to be overly concerned about, but there could be an infection. So the doctor orders bloods to be taken. One, two, three, go. And x-rays. OK, brilliant, that's great. We're all finished. If there is an infection, Casper may have to have surgery to sort it out. We're going to keep him in tonight to see how things fold up tomorrow morning. For now, Casper's got other things on his mind. Dinner and sleep. My thoughts exactly. Not yet, Zand. Find out later if he does.